Today we're going to be unboxing the Space Edge Electronics E-Lock-FA Circuit Breaker Lockout Kit. This product is intended to lock out the circuit breaker that powers your fire alarm system. And this little plate right here goes on the handle of the circuit breaker and it basically prevents anybody from accidentally turning off the power to your fire alarm system. As you can see, the kit includes a hex wrench and a little set screw to attach the bracket here to the front of your circuit breaker and it includes a whole bunch of stickers to mark your panel. Now this is actually required by an FPA 72 I believe. So we can go ahead and open it up and dump it out. And first of all here is the plate right here. It has lettering on both sides so it'll work on either side of your electrical panel. Here is a label for the location of the breaker. I assume this would go in the fire alarm panel itself and uh, this is just so you know where the breaker is. It looks like these are all the stickers. There are eight different stickers included with this kit. Um, these are meant to go on your electrical panel, um, like on the door for example, it's just so you know where the breaker is. And lastly, inside of this little baggie includes the um, wrench and the set screw. So the only assembly you'll have to do with this is just put the set screw into the plate like so and there is a little bit of paint in the threads so you will have to use the set screw to kinda work the threads in and it is meant to be tight so it doesn't have to be perfect threads it's only really meant to use once but once you get it through then it's nice and easy and you're gonna wanna back it out all the way so it's ready to go on your breaker alright so I went ahead and grabbed a square D 20 amp circuit breaker and this is a home line breaker and this is about the same as most breakers you're going to find in buildings so as you can see the install is very simple the breaker has to be in the on position obviously and then this little thing looks like you get to back out the screw a little bit probably a good idea to put the screw on after it's on the breaker itself and as you can see it goes flush with the breaker and then you tighten it. You don't want to tighten it so much that you're going to break the uh, handle obviously. And then once it's tightened, that's that. So that prevents the breaker from being turned off. And you might be wondering, why would you want to make it so your breaker couldn't trip? If there was a fault, you could like burn up your wiring and stuff. Well, most modern breakers, the handle can actually be held on, and if there's too much current and it trips, it'll actually internally trip, but the handle can still stay um, in the on position. So if it were to trip, you just take this off, and then this breaker would go down to the middle position, and then you have to flip it off and then back on again. So no, this does not prevent the breaker from tripping. It just prevents people from accidentally turning it off. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.